brand new episode of Johnson's Court. Today I'm super excited to bring you today week nine of the NFL. And today with me I have Mr. Beagle. What up guys? So happy to be back. Real happy to be back. Yes, and I'm super glad you're here. So we're gonna dive right into it. You know, we are gonna talk about the NFL. We might little talk about a little bit about the NBA as well today. I did make a podcast last night, uh, posted it on um, the on, on YouTube. Uh, so go check it out if not. But this one will come out tomorrow uh, about 11 a.m. So super excited to bring you the NFL every single week because um, new things are developing every single week always um, every single day too yeah every single day Ab- absolutely um so let's just get right into it so to recap week eight so i went seven and eight not really good i didn't even go 500 um and neither did beagle so last week was very rough for us uh beagle went six and nine um so a lot of the games were just it was just wild a lot of back all the backups this this week i'm that kind of we didn't see that uh, four backups making their yeah. wins. That's, that's wins insane. or debuts as well. Exactly. So just kind of crazy. So Beagle is seventy two and forty one. I am sixty seven and forty five. Beagle still beat me, even though he had a bad week. I had a bad week as well. You can't you can't catch up if you both have a bad week. Uh, but you know, last week was just a bad week and week eight. But week nine, we're hoping to turn that around. Yes, uh, positive break. Positive records, absolutely. Because some weeks are a little bit easier to, per- to predict than others. Uh, but some weeks you're just like, dang, like, I can't believe that happened. Uh, but before we get into the surprise of the week of what games, do want to congratulate the Atlanta Braves on winning the World Series. Uh, they did win it in six games. They won it in Houston. They won uh, 7-0. So a shout-out to win the World Series. I know that does not happen very often. Not sure when the last time that did happen. But congrats to the Atlanta Braves on winning the World Series. As a Sox fan, I'm happy to see the Astros lose. It probably should have been us, but you know we'll be we'll be back next year. Absolutely, absolutely. So, love to start out with the surprise of the week. Love to start out with the bad and end with the good, so then we can go into the next segment. So, what are the what games were bad? What games here were you just like, man, what happened this week? Wow. So I'm going to talk about this bets and not bets, and Bengals and Jets uh, game. You know, everyone's like the Bengals are for real. They are legit. The Jets went out. Um, they don't have. Um, they don't have. What's his name? The rookie. Uh, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. Yeah. Slipped my mind for a second. Go out and get the rookie. Then uh, was he a rookie? Uh, he might be a rookie or a second year, something like that. I think guy. No one's seen him White, before. But he came out with four plus yards. He had, I think, three touchdowns. At least three touchdowns. Three touchdowns. Yeah. Like, who is this guy? On Who's the Bengals? On the Jets. On the Jets. No, no, no. He did this all against the Bengals. He put it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. true. true. Yeah. And, you know, everyone's talking about the Bengals are legit. They might be ASC contenders this year. The Chiefs, you know, the Chiefs aren't doing them. This might be their time. And they just go. The Jets are so weird. They, they beat the Titans, and then they beat the Bengals, both quality teams. But then they can't win against the Jaguars. They can't win against the Patriots. The Patriots. Oh, Patriots, I can understand. It's a little more understandable. Yeah. But, but, I don't know. That, that's, that, that, that's what really, I had a nice five-leg parlay. You know, I, I make my big one with all my mm-hmm. teams in hopes that it slaps. Then they make, I make a couple, like, four or five wins that at least secure some me some money. Some serious parlays. Yeah, at least at least give me some money fun. All four legs slapped except this Bengals one. Mm. That 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 just stings. That hurts. That hurts. One more bad I'm look at is the Cleveland Browns against the Steelers. Ah, uh, Kareem Hunt was a big part of their offense, and now him being out gives them that lack of depth. Nick Chubb's out here doing his thing, but it's just not enough. And now they're talking about trading Odell. Yeah, they so are. What do you think about that? You think they are for real? Trade him? Um. Cause that deadline's coming up. That deadline is coming up, so I'm not sure what they're gonna do. Um, I mean, if they do decide to trade it, they do decide to just do it. Um, I'd, I'd love to see them on another team, but I mean, I think this is the year to win. Uh, you know, your yes, your division's gonna be hard every single year. It doesn't matter. Um, but the Bengals are good this year. The Ravens are good this year. The St- the Steelers are decent this year. And then if, you know, if the Browns are good. You know, why not stay and compete? You know, why go to a worse team? Um, I mean, I have no idea where he would go, but I mean, depending on where he would go, it would maybe decrease his chances or increase his chances. So I think they're definitely going to act on here soon. Yeah. All right. And the good, what I want to look at, good. 
Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll go ahead and do oh, my bad. Yeah, you get bad. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go and start with the Buccaneers and Saints. Um, so that game, uh, the Buccaneers lost 27 to 36. Uh, Jameis Winston did tear his ACL, so Perry's after that man. Hopefully, he comes back. He was gonna have one of the best seasons he's ever had this year, and to see him come out with injury just really does hurt the Saints' chances a lot now. Uh, but the Buccaneers, you know, Tom Brady, you know, he throws a pick six, or not a pick six, he threw a pick towards the end of the game, and, uh, you know, that really could have made them win the game if he doesn't throw that pick. Um, so being the GOAT, you know, you can't do that, uh, but, you know, he's like one in three versus Saints, like, since he's been on the Buccaneers, so uh, I think it's just kind of crazy that he struggled most against the Saints, and they don't even have Drew Brees, so I understand, you know, facing Drew Brees. Uh, but man, just to see the Buccaneers fold like that was just disappointing. Uh, but then my other one, well, we're going to talk about the Rams and Texans, how the Texans scored 22 unanswered points. Um, so that's just, I know you have your second string in, but still, like, score 20. Like, you were winning 38 to 0, and then you put in your second. Like, is your second string really that bad? <laughs> yes. Yes. Really that bad. That's crazy. I bet people who had the 15 and a half, the over on that. Like, or the oak, yeah, the over was probably sweating bullets until they came and showed and up. And they're like, you know quarter. what? Uh, that, you know, I, who would have bet the over in that game? That's the real question. Right. I mean, could have, so, but yeah. Um, and then the Titans versus the Colts. So the Titans were able to pull out this win, thirty-four to thirty-one in overtime. Um, and what happened there is, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to keep saying it to the end of the season because this is what needs to change. Carson Wentz has to stop having turnovers late in the game. The reason we've been losing a lot of games lately is because he has late game turnovers. You want to win the game, you can't have late game turnovers. You got to run the clock down, you got to kick a field goal, or run the ball. And when you throw the ball, you try and scramble out of the pocket like he's been doing. Sometimes he gets hurt with his ankle, things like that. But then you just you force things that aren't there. That's why Patrick Mahomes is having such a bad year. He's forcing things that doesn't need to be forced. Exactly. I've seen a lot of his interceptions like. He goes to throw it like, like just take the sack, throw it away, or, or scramble or something. He's forcing it. Mm -hmm. And then, and you know, and that's hard to say. Throw a pick. The Titans drop down just a little bit. But with that being said, Derek, did you hear? Mm -hmm. Derek Henry's out for potential, maybe the rest of the season, but at least I know four to eight weeks. My fantasy team does not like this man. <laughs> of course, it's my, it's my money league too. Like the one I don't really care, and I made no, I'm a cool. But you know, I have Derek Henry in my league that matters and now he's gone like and that hurts that hurt, that hurts a lot it hurts our souls uh because he, he's a huge addition you know he's, he had a pretty good he was, and he was, on, good he was on pace to break Eric Dickerson, Dickerson's record though and that record. and that's never been broken so mm -hmm. it was like he had the chance but you know just to see that you know it just really sucks but the Titans are still a good team they're still a contending team um that just means everyone else is going to step up like AJ Brown and Julio Jones yeah. Julio Jones hasn't had a very yeah. good season so far but I think that he definitely can. Yeah, he definitely. Now that like opens up the passing game a little bit. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, with the good, you know, what team or what teams did you see that had a good week? A good week? Um, it may not look like it, but I'm going to go with the Cowboys. They did come out and get the win. They were on the road. Kirk Cousins in prime time, bowling yet again. Yet again. Um. It's just a, it's a quality win because they had their backup in, and Zeke was out there doing doing just enough. Mm -hmm. um, I think considering they had their backup, I'm gonna go. You know, Cowboys on the road too. That's a big thing. Very hard to win in Minneapolis, so I, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys with the good. Um, is there anything else? I'm going to go back to the bad for one second for this Packers and Cardinals game. A.J. Green giving up mid-play to end the game. What is wrong with you? What was that? Like, did he not know the and ball? He looked, he looked like he was playing mad and the controller died. And so, like, he just Please reconnect. Lost. Yeah, please reconnect. Like, like, come on. He didn't even turn around. He, he turns didn't... around, that's a touchdown. Easy. Turns around, that's a touchdown. And he was good on the Bengals. So, like, what was that? Literally could have won the game. Um, what a way for the Cardinals. Perfect record to go to out like that. To AJ Green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wild. Um, but you? So let's see. I think I'm going to go with the Patriots and Chargers here. So I picked the Chargers to win, so did Beagle. Mm -hmm. But I knew that this game could have went either way um, just because of how well the Patriots have been playing lately and because of what Bill Belichick's able to do with Matt Jones. 
Mac Jones is definitely in the running to win Rookie of the Year. Mm. You think so? I think he's definitely oh, Jamar Chase. I don't know. Jamar Chase did have that two hundred. Yeah, he's putting up Brady Moss numbers. So that's, yeah, that's, that's true. Crazy. It's still a long season, it but if the season. Patriots, I don't know because it's like if the Patriots make the playoffs, and I say, oh, you know, maybe the um, Patriots, uh, Mac Jones has more of a lot. But the Bengals are the best team in the league right now, so it's not like I can say that like until this past the one seed. Exactly, the Titans are the one seed right now, but you know that's mm-hmm. probably going to change here with Derrick Henry being out. But we'll see. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, you know, the Patriots are just able to be the Chargers. The Chargers are having trouble right now. I, you know, I like Justin Herbert, but he needs to get his game together. The whole team needs to be because I feel like you shouldn't have lost to the Patriots. I feel like you definitely should have won that game for sure. Um, so to lose to the Patriots, that's 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 a huge blow. It is very that's very bad. Chargers just need to get together. Got to get it together. So with that being said, we're going to move on to kind of the NFL news going on this week. Um, so first, we'll talk about the Winston ACL injury. You know, how does that affect not only James Winston, but how does that affect the Saints going forward? Well, you see, we don't have they don't have Hill right now due to concussion, um, so yeah, that's just bad. So now they just need to have Trevor Simeon, Simeon. Yeah, something yeah, that's his last name. He, he was that dude on the Broncos, right? Like last year. year I think so. That, that. Uh, also, that name did sound familiar. Yeah, it definitely did. So you know, shout out to him. Congrats on going to get a win against the Goat. Congratulations. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, considering he played well against the Super Bowl champions, I feel like the Saints look here in a pretty decent spot right decent now. They still have Alvin Kamara. Their defense is, you know, supportive. It's enough to, for them, you know, to get out there. And they're not tired at the end of the game. Offense is still out there doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's, it just sucks for James because he was having such a great season. And now and he's bouncing back from that thirty and thirty. That thirty eye 30. surgery, like, wow. Sad. But if they make, well, no, he's going to be out the whole season, so it won't matter. Um, but, no, yeah, I think it definitely affects him. But I don't think they're, they're going to make the playoffs now. Um, I think that, you know, being in the division they're in, I mean, they can still beat the Panthers. They can still beat the Falcons. But, I don't know, I think the NFC is just good enough that I don't see the same thing. I think it'll, for them it'll just depend on who's getting those wild cards. Very true, very true. It could come down to you guys, could come down to the Bears. You know, I don't know who it's going to come down to, who's going to make that wild card seed. But that's definitely that's definitely huge because the one seed does get a bye. You know, the only team does now currently get a bye. So now we're also going to talk about this is this is very sad. This is something that is developing um, out of today. Um, Henry Ruggs from the Las Vegas Raiders um, was in a drinking and driving accident. Um, I know it said reports wise he was not injured or had barely any injuries, but he did um, kill someone um, with this accident. So it's very sad to see, you know, please, please guys don't drink and drive uh, because it just shows you right here with this accident that he did with that one decision he made by not calling an Uber, he lost his NFL career. He lost more. He lost his whole life went back about 10 miles. He now has a dead body on his conscience. He killed not just an animal, he killed an animal too, a pet. So uh, I just hate to see animals go along with the owner. That's just terrible. Mm-hmm. All easily avoidable. Biggest bonehead move probably of the year, probably of the century. And now the millions of dollars he's gonna miss out on through his NFL career has been flushed down the toilet. Absolutely. Stupid. Very like I said, very sad. Uh, but we're going to continue and just go with another uh, upbeat conversation. But just wanted to let you guys know out there, you know, just please be safe. Because uh, we, we don't want anything to happen like that. He was a great Alabama receiver. So just to see that happen, it's just very sad. Very promising career, too. To very, very, and one of the fastest in the league. Mm-hmm. So he had speed. Now, Aaron Rodgers. Now, I know Biggs doesn't really like Aaron Rodgers because he is a very scam. But he tests COVID. He tests positive for COVID. It's kind of a developing story, I guess, that, you know, we can't talk about too much here on YouTube uh, just because, you know, just guidelines and things like that. But he did test positive for COVID. So how does that affect the Packers going forward? Because Jordan Love now gets to start. Yes, now we get to see Jordan Love to start. It's just crazy because there's reports that this whole time he wasn't vaccinated at all. Um, that's just crazy considering the whole Kyrie situation going into the NBA. Now Kyrie's going to look at this and be like, hmm, like, you know. He wasn't back, but he got to play. Mm-hmm. Granted, different state, and they're going by their state regulations. Which I also saw the mayor of New York is about to like line up some 
restrict or something where Kyrie could play at the start of the new year? I have no idea. I mean, there's just things going around, you know, different rumors, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just not sure of what's but going on. if Aaron Rodgers does get no punishment for this, it, he's just their golden boy. Like, like I think he'll like, definitely get a punishment. I think Roger Goodell is definitely going to come down because definitely Roger Goodell, I mean, I know sometimes, you know, he doesn't really, hasn't really done things in the past, but, you know, with it being 2021 and everything going on in this world, I think he'll definitely get a punishment. So um, I think you'll definitely see, you know, something happen because – if he has a positive, you know, um, you know, what, could he have tested positive last week and not play versus the Cardinals as well because mm -hmm. Devontae Adams is out? So we'll just see what happens with that developing story. Um, but, you know, he is a big part of the league. Uh, he was a huge conversation piece in this offseason. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see what happens there because that does lead uh, the Bears, the Vikings, and the, I'm not even saying Lions. Yeah. The Bears and the Vikings to wide open to potentially win that division. So how does that division look now? Um, Vikings are in second place right now. Bears are chilling in third. The pack on top. So we're not even gonna mention the Lions right now. Um, I'll probably won't mention them all season. No, like they might repeat in zero and sixteen. Like there's a good chance this. Will they be the only team in NFL that should do that twice? Twice, yes. Because it's only happened. I think three. once. It happened once on the Lions. Happened once on golf. The Browns. 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 Okay. Like. But hey, that leaves the Vikings and the Bears wide open for that. So do you, th do you with that being said, do you, like hot take, do the Bears, can they win that division now? Uh, the Bears have a very tough schedule coming up. They have to play the Ravens. Um, I know we'll have to play the Pack again real soon. We got to get in our winning ways. We got to start calling plays that are going to benefit Justin Fields and not make him look soft. That's all it really does come down to. Um, and what our defense can do, if mm -hmm. they can actually wake up or not. But I was, if Rodgers, mm -hmm. uh, I just saw that, but um, if, if Rodgers is out for an extended period of time, I feel like there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we just get some notifications going on here um, and another group chat of, you know, the NBA things going on, people sport betting and whatnot. Uh, just because, you know, basketball's here, we're support betting, uh, doing all that. Please play responsibly if you're 21 years or older, um, you know, because we're making bets out here. So Biggs is definitely checking his bets and whatnot, what's going on. I know I have bets from tonight that I'll, I'll have to check later, see what's going on. Always going on responsibly. Always. So with that being said, we're going to move into our Week 9 predictions. Now, to me, this is one of the funnest part of segments that we do this year. Uh, just because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to get that devil. I'm trying to be on top. I'm trying to be number one. Uh, but you know, Beeks is just he. Hey, he's 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 we got him right he, so he, he's, he's better than me right now. So, um, with that being said, Thursday night football is tomorrow at eight twenty at Lucas Oil Stadium. The New York Jets, who we've been talking about, is coming in. You know, with, at, with a weird record and just uh, the team that they've been able to beat, and they're playing the Colts. So, you know, Beagle, who do you have winning this game? Do you have the Jets winning or the Colts winning? I'm going to take the Colts on this. Okay, got to take the Colts. Right, okay. said, but I feel like. This new guy in New York. I don't want to say it's a one game wonder, but I don't think it's the key to success. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, there's some guy that no one's seen before who turned out to have some talent, but when you're not prepared for who you think you're going to face, it can be hard to stop. And that was just what we saw. Absolutely. And so I think the Colts are going to win this as long as keys of the game. Carson Wentz hasn't turned the ball over a late game. We control the ball, and George, Jonathan Taylor scores us. I think he's going to have at least two touchdowns. So um, I think that's going to be keys to the game. The defense is going to play well, so I'm not too worried. Um, so, yeah, definitely going with the Colts. Now, what about the Las Vegas Raiders and, you know, just everything going on with them today? Um, just this year with their coach, now Henry Ruggs, you know, they're playing the New York Giants. Who wins this game? The New York Giants. Um, I'm going to go with the Raiders. But the New York Giants only lost by three to the Chiefs. To the Chiefs. Keep that in mind. I do keep that in mind. The Chiefs have also been playing real bad this year, but I'm still going to roll for the Raiders on this one. Okay. Yeah, Henry Ruggs does suck, um, suck losing him, but the car is still out there throwing the ball, or they still got, um, I was, uh, they got another good wide receiver slipping my mind right now. Um, but they got Josh Jacobs, so I, 
and they, they'll be they'll be fine. They got Waller tight end. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll be fine. I, ain't, I I don't think I'm too worried about about that. Okay. All right. All right. Um. Let's see. I'm I'm picking the Raiders too. Uh. Because you know the Giants. You know they have played kind of decent this year, but the Raiders, if they can keep that passing game up, I think they should win this game pretty easily. Uh. Then you've got the Falcons playing the Saints. This is a NFC South showdown. Uh, you know, with the Saints losing Jameis Winston, um, but the Falcons playing the way they're playing. Like, honestly, I'd pick this game if Jameis Winston was playing. I'd pick the Saints. But I'm going to go to go with the Falcons on this one. You're going with the Falcons? They did let me down last week. They did. Oh, yeah. They did. I am. Mm, mm, I'm going with the Saints on this one. I'm going with the Saints. They still got Alan Kamara out. Their offenses can still put up points. And, you know, they. This is coming on after beating the defending champions, so I feel like that's some good momentum. Is, so, did you see that? Um, did you see what happened to Michael Thomas? Out for season. Is that well? He's out. Well, yes, he's going to be out. Well, he wanted to return, but he's had a couple setbacks that he's going to be out for the season. He's not going to be able to make it. So, um, so like to see Michael Thomas not be able to make it, but you know he had to play, and you know he toughened out. Like he had some injuries last year when it was Drew Brees' last year, so I know that he definitely should not have played last year. Um, he should have went and, you know, got better for this season. Uh, but, you know, we want to play with Drew Brees. So, I mean, hey, I can't, I can't blame the guy. can't blame the guy. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to go with the Saints. All right, all right. So, next we have the Bills facing the Jets. Why are the Bills just facing sh- shitty, shitty teams? Like, can someone please, like, explain to me this? Mm-hmm. That when the NFL was doing the schedule. Uh, so, the point of the Jets, like, do we have to talk about this? Do we have to say who's going to win? Yes, the Bills will. <laughs> That's fun. That's, that is really not much explaining on this one. No, I definitely don't think so. I mean, we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. You know, maybe they'll beat the Jaguars like the Rams are beating the te- te- uh, Texans, and then they score twenty-two straight. I don't know, but it should be an easy win for the Bills. Um, and then you got the Browns playing the Bengals, so this is a, another in or AFC North North AFC North showdown. Um, you know, versus the Browns and the Bengals. Who wins this one? You know, because this this division is one of the hardest in the I league like this year. is a real big turning point. The Browns need to get this win. But I'm going to go with the Bengals. They are they coming off a Jets loss is always hard. Um, coming off a loss is just hard in general. But then when it comes against the, the Jets, that makes it just as tough. So <laughs> I feel like they're going to come with a little fire and come with some passion. And the Browns right now just look like a mess. And they're thinking about trading Odell. Yep, I was, I was so about to say that. He may not even be on the team. Look, because there's still a lot of the week left. He might not be on the team this Sunday. That's very true. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go to the Bengals as well just because everything you said. I mean, you said it. There's not really much more to say about that. But this could be a close game, you know, just because it is a divisional game. So, they do play a little bit tougher, a little harder. But, yeah, the Bengals were one out on top. Who did uh, and then you got the Patriots coming in and playing the Panthers. You know, the Patriots beat the Chargers last week by three. Does that carry over into this week? It definitely does. So the Chargers are a great team. Panthers are in shambles right now. Um, they start out great, but just haven't gotten it back together. I feel like they're still going to crumble. Bill Belichick definitely knows something that we don't. <laughs> um, the, with this Mac Jones is just, the, like you said, I definitely, right now, as of right now, at this point in time, he's the best quarterback in this class. Yes. He's a, he definitely, like, statistically, you just, you just, you can't argue it. Um, but I'm going to go with the Patriots coming out on the road. Absolutely. I think I have to agree as well. Uh, Mac Jones has been playing pretty well. Um, they stuck up the running game, so it's definitely huge. You know, Mac Jones can't throw 30 passes a game and expect to win. Um, but... You know, like you said, Bill Belichick knows something that we don't, and he was able to get the win last week. Now we have the Broncos coming and facing the Cowboys. Don't know if Dak's going to play this week or not, but even if he doesn't, who do you got winning? Um, I'm still going to go with the Cowboys on this one. When the Cowboys are winning is when they're using Ezekiel Elliott a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and with Dak being gone, I was going to have to lean on Zeke. So, I feel like it's going to be a great chance for him to open up. Broncos getting rid of Von Miller, so that defense is going to be crippled a little more. Um, I, that's, I still can't get over that trade, but... No, yeah, that was that, wild to see. Like, yeah. I mean, I know Von Miller is older now, so yeah. I mean... He's not what he used to be, but he's still got some juice. He has veteran experience. He's got juice. Like, you still got to respect him. 
Um, and when you have him and Aaron Donald on the same line, that is no. I don't want to get tackled by that team. Hell no, I don't want. That's like a freshman going up and playing a senior. Like you think I really want to go and nah, play is, the seniors today? This is a JV backup going against a D one, like a future D one athlete on the varsity. That's what it's exactly. Like I'm not no. <laughs> I'm gonna roll with the Cowboys too, uh, Steve and Smith. I know you're rolling with the Broncos, but we're rolling with the Cowboys over here. Uh, and then you got the Vikings coming in and playing the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the Ravens had a bye week last week, um, and so the Vikings did lose uh, last week. But who wins this game? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Ravens on this one. Um, you know, they're fresh. You know, when you come out the bye week, you're either sloppy, rusty, and sloppy, or you're fresh and you come out powerful. I feel like. Lamar is going to come out powerful. Um, Vikings, they, 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 nobody's figured out how to stop Lamar yet. And mm -hmm. I don't think the Vikings are going to be that team. I wanted to go again and say the Vikings. But like you said, I think the Ravens are fresh off this bye week. Mm -hmm. So I definitely see the Ravens winning as well. Their line was a little beat up. And I think, you know, having that bye week helped them. I think it came well. Um, and they needed it where they needed it. Um, so then you've got the Houston Texans playing the Miami Dolphins. Trade rumors going around. You don't know where Deshaun Watson's going yet. Don't even know if he's going to play yet. But he could be going to the Dolphins. He could be going to the Panthers. I don't know what he's going. He so could what, be hopping on that jet with the Dolphins going back to Miami. That's what could be happening. He could also be hopping and going with Henry Ruggs. We don't know what's happening. Man, but, man. I mean, was, sorry, that's not funny. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, people make their own decisions. And so it's like you got to make better decisions. But, you know, who wins this game? Like, two trash, garbage teams who wins. I'm going to go with the Texans. I think they get their first win of the year. Is it their first win of the year? Mm, no, they no. won. They won one game. They won this year. One and seven. Yeah, so they're going to get their They're both one and seven. Yes, the trash bowl. But, you know, Texans, like they said, they play weird, good at weird times. I know, I think it was week one, we saw them put up, like, 30 points, and they still lost. Mm -hmm. Um, so the, this offense can put up points that in bursts for no reason at all. Um, and the Dolphins are in shambles too. So I'm going to go with the Texans on this one. So yeah, I don't really know who's going to win, but I'm going to disagree with you on this one. I'm going to say the Dolphins. Why not? Worst women with the Dolphins mm -hmm. today. So I like, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just like, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, then we got the Chargers playing the Eagles. Ooh, this honestly might be the toughest match of the week to think for a winner. Um, Just because the Chargers have struggled lately, and the Eagles did win last week versus the Lions. Crushed them. Crushed. 40-46. Man, I really don't know. I'm thinking deep. Who, uh, if you if you go to FanDuel, who's the favorite to win this game? Oh, uh, let's take a look. I, mean, I, would, I would say the Eagles, but at the same time, it could be, well, it could be the Chargers. Oh, okay, you know. The Chargers are favorite, road favorites. The road right. favorite by two and a half. Two and a half. The over under is 50 points. Woo! Ah. Hmm. They're going into fifth. I'm going to go with the, Eagles, the home team Eagles on this one. Going with the Eagles. Only reason is because they're home. That's the about Eagles. it. So the only reason why I'm going to go with the Eagles, I mean, I would want to go to the Chargers, but I'm fine with Cody. I'm fine with Cody. And then. Jalen Hurts has been playing all right. He has been playing pretty well. He's been mm -hmm. playing decent. So he's been playing like a poor man's Lamar. He's been getting a lot of rushing mm -hmm. and touchdowns. Yeah. So this could be the week that the Chargers bounce back. Could not be. We'll we'll just see. That's gonna be the hardest game. Like that. If you do a parlay, that one might screw you up the most. Yeah, that's the one. I I don't. I think I did like an eighteen parlay this week, and that was one of the ones I left off. If you want, kind of like I do, I do like a fifty cent parlay, but I'll make two of them. This, everything's the same, but this game right here is like two different ones. So then, like, okay, I'll, I'm out 50 cents. But then this other one, if everything hits, and that was the game changer, it hits. Ooh. I've won that way. I'm doing it. Mm. I've been doing that for my, uh, my NBA one. You just gotta keep it. I won 12 bucks last night. I had Luca. I needed Luca over 22 and a half. I needed um, Kyle Lowry over 14, and I needed the Heat to win. Mm. Yeah, Heat won. Heat are really great. Man. He won. Um, so, okay, 4.25 p.m. Packers are playing the Chiefs. I can't say garbage teams, but I can say mediocre teams. This... Who wins this game? Because Jordan Love is getting his first start. Yes. I think the Chiefs come out with this one. The Chiefs, 
it's an arrowhead, so I feel like that's a big reason. But it's also the fact that you know they they haven't really played without Aaron Rodgers, so they don't really don't know what to expect. Uh, Devonte Adams going to be back, possibly, possibly, possibly not. But I think he should be. Either way, I am rolling with the Chiefs on this one. Definitely, like you said, it's an Arrowhead Stadium. And your reads like, hey, we need to get our crap together. You know, especially going against the Packers. I think this game would be a lot harder if Aaron Rodgers was playing. He may or may not be, but he's probably not. So, yeah, the Chiefs are winning. I think that everyone's going to get – everyone's going to have a game. I think Tyreek Hill's going to have a game. Travis Kelsey's going to have a game. I think that team's going to have a game. I think Patrick Mahomes – Patrick Mahomes throws zero interceptions this game. Calling it, he breaks the streak. Zero interceptions. Yeah, yep. He's had, I think they said the past seven games, he's thrown an interception. At least one. That Yeah, he's thrown an interception the past seven games. We've never seen this Mahomes like this. So I'm going to say he breaks it. I mean, when you could put on two Madden covers, the curse is obviously going to catch up. It's going to end this year's catching up. <laughs> so, the 49ers are playing the Cardinals, but it's at the 49ers. Mm. Jimmy G is probably going to start, but what if Trey Lance comes in? You know, they, mm-hmm. they can run that two QB offense. Uh, but the Cardinals are coming in. They're coming off that loss to the Packers yeah. by three. A.J. Green, does he redeem himself? Has he even played this game? No, I know the whole locker room is giving them that dirty cat, stink guy. Um, the whole plane ride home. Like, bro, come on. Open your eyes. Turn around. All right. I, uh, I, I still have Cardinals winning this one. Okay. But it's just, you know, it's like, man, it could be, they could still be undefeated. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But I'd rather take that loss now and win the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Right. So, but I'm going the Cardinals as well. I, I'm, I'm hype on them this year. Um, you know, I've been playing back with them since the Madden days uh, with Kurt Warner and stuff. So I mm-hmm. uh, take it back to the PS3 days. Uh, so, Wait so much fun to play. Um, but then that leads us into our first night game, Sunday night game mm-hmm. at 8.20 p.m. It is the Tennessee Titans. Without Derrick Henry. But with Ryan Tannehill facing the L.A. Rams with a new and improved defense, defense. adding Von Miller. So who wins this on Monday night? This game, I want, I'm going to go with the Rams. However, I think the Titans do, do, do actually all right. They went out and got the old man AP, Adrian Peterson. They did. Which I was very – they also went and got Devontae Freeman. So I don't know how much touches AP going to get, but – just, I'm just happy to see a man back on a roster. Depends on how hard Aaron Donald tackled him. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I just, I'm just happy to see AP. He's fifth right now in the all-time rushing, so maybe he has a chance to move up to four. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's at four? Let's see. Frank Gore's at three, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. He bet past Barry Sanders. All-time leading. So this, Barry Sanders might be next. Barry Sanders might be. That's here we go. Emmett Walter, yeah, Frank. So Frank's the third. Yeah. So that means you said Adrian Peterson is fifth. So Barry Sanders is in front of him. With seven hundred wait. Uh like six hundred more yards. Yeah. Six hundred yards. I don't think AP getting that. Oh, definitely not this game, but I think since he signed now and yeah. because of Hit Derrick Henry being out for damn near the whole rest of the year. He definitely moves up to number four. He moves up to number I four. I don't know, man, because there's t- 10 games left. If he can at least get okay, okay. I just realized 50 yards. Four, it's 400 yards, not 600. My math was off. Let's see, 80. I don't have my phone, man. I don't have, I'm not, I, can't, I can't do math in my head. I'm not good at it. 300. Yeah, it's 449 yards. He should definitely be able to beat that. He should become fourth all time. This year he'll become fourth. I'll make that prediction now. If you don't think so, you don't think so. I don't know. I don't think he's going to get that fourth because he's going to be sharing with Devontae Freeman. All you got to do is get 50 yards over the next 10 games. Uh, Yeah. 50 yards a game? Nah, but they're going to be throwing it to – they're going to be throwing it more now. I mean, that's true. They are going to be throwing it more. Uh, Maybe if he comes back next year. And B's like his backup, maybe, but I just don't see him breaking it this year. I would love to. I would love to see him do it. Prove me wrong, AP. Prove him wrong. He's saying that right now. Prove him wrong. Uh, but I'm going with the Rams too. 
I think it's going to be a good game though. Uh, but with the addition, but with the addition of Von Miller and losing Derrick Henry, even though they, even if they had Derrick Henry, I mean, I feel like the Rams would still be able to stop Derrick Henry um, because the Rams defense is really good. Um, so I would be going with the Rams either way, but I think it'd be a lot closer game if they had Derrick Henry, obviously. Obviously. Uh, but Rams are winning on Sunday night football. Bring it to us, Carrie Underwood. Let us know. They're winning all day this Sunday night. But then after that day. After that game's over, I'm waiting for Monday night. I'm waiting for Monday night. I know. This guy's waiting for Monday night because it's the Chicago Bears and Justin Fields and Allen Robinson playing the Steelers, Big Ben, and and Don, Najee, Harris. Najee Harris. So, you know, who wins this game? You know, because this could be a really close game. Okay. You know, I'm calling it the hot buzzer of the week. It's the upset of the week. <laughs> Chicago Bears are going to go into Heinz Field. And beat the Steelers. Um, at, Justin Fields is playing amazing right now. The O-line is playing like butt cheeks. But uh, the, the Steelers offense, I am not worried whatsoever. Um, the, the Browns defense gives up 40 points. Um, and they still lose. Um, but they held to the Steelers to 15. I am not worried. Chicago Bears can easily put up 20 points. Um, okay. Easily put up 20 yeah, um, Easy. Upset of the week, the Bears. Upset, upset of the week on Beeks' schedule. Big Ben is too old. But I think Big Ben still has enough left in the tank. So I'm going with Steelers this week. I think this could go either way. It really could. But I don't believe in the Bears yet. I know you're Bears fans, so I know you're loyal, so I know you're all in on them. But if that line does not improve, you're going to be in the same situation as Andrew Luck. Justin Fields is going to retire. I mean, he probably won't. But I'm just saying, though. You know, like, getting sacked, having to scramble all the time, like, and, you know, just going through that constantly is just not something fun you want to do. Um, so, I think that I was getting a call, but... We good? Awesome. Cool. We yeah, we're all good. Normally when that happens, normally if I don't, uh, it would have ended the video, but it didn't, so cool. So, I do believe that the Steelers are going to win this game. But I think the Bears are going to make this close. I think it's going to, I think it's going to be a three-point game, win or lose. Whether Come down to a field goal? It's coming down to a field goal, and I really think that's going to happen. I think it's not that it's going to be a sloppy Monday night game, but it's going to be a hard-fought fucking win, excuse my language, game. It really is. You think upset, I think the Steelers, but it's going to be a clash. It's, it's going to be a hard game. Yes. Other aside from the Bucks game, you know, the Bears usually come out and they fight. So hopefully... You know, they come out, they actually fight enough to win. So, yeah, upset of the week right there. All right, so that's our take. That's our predictions. That's our recap for this week. Week 9 is going to be an exciting week. We think it's going to be better than last week, obviously. Um, and we're super excited um, to watch the games this week. Thursday night should be a good game. Our, so far, every single week has been a good Thursday night game. Mm -hmm. It's been a good Monday night, and it's been a good Sunday night. Yes. So the they haven't made, like, I remember the, th the Thursday night games would be the two most booty teams they have to start the week off of caution. Now, you know, we got some quality teams in this, each slot. And, mm -hmm. and I, just, I just love to see it. Yes, I love to see that. Um, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. Like I said, the NBA podcast was yesterday, but it's NFL is coming out today. Hopefully, on my next NBA podcast, I'll get beats on it as well. Like I said, hopefully, maybe it comes out next week. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Uh, but the Bulls are the best team in the East right now. Mm, until they lost today. I don't know if the Heat won. Uh, the Heat did win last night. So um, they might. So the Heat have the top, top two. Top, top but top two, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but super excited to talk about the NBA later um, in this week or something like that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for listening. Please, in the comments, leave below um, what you guys think this predictions of this week's going to be. Mm -hmm. And also want to give a shout out for Beeks. So I kind of talked about it a little bit last week, but he made the music video. Yes. Came yeah. out. Is, um, is there anywhere people can go and view that? Uh, yes, I need to put. I need to put it on YouTube, but it will be on a YouTube channel. I will send the link to Riley, and he can share it with y'all. I definitely will. This man's a ball. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on and giving the people what they want. Yes. Giving the people like, hey, this Our is the this is more breakdown. So we'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much. Enjoy your week and.